Hey, good morning, everybody. It's good to be with you today. It's vacation day. We are in the midst of COVID-19 and my husband and I recently retired from teaching and we love to travel. So we're gonna go just on a quick little trip, not too far from home. We're gonna go to High Bridge Trail State Park today and hike a little bit. It is about an hour and 15 minutes away from our home and it's close to Farmville, Virginia. High Bridge Trail State Park has about 31 miles that you can walk, bike, or horseback ride on. And today we're just gonna be walking and there's a really high bridge and I'm afraid of heights, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I would say that we're gonna stop at the Camp Paradise entrance. There are multiple entrances and we're gonna stop there. It's about three tenths of a mile from the bridge itself. And we'll show you around a little bit when we get there. Um, it does cost $5 and uh, we will take you on a trip. So get your coat and let's get going. Okay, so what's a staycation day without Chick-fil-A for breakfast? I don't know either. So here we go. We're just gonna grab a biscuit uh, before we get going. And uh, I'll take you along as we head into the yummy Chick-fil-A. There she is. So here we are, we've reached the entrance into Camp Paradise. We are gonna go in and pay our $5 to park. It is a state park, that's the parking fee. And Camp Paradise, I believe, has places to actually camp. I don't know about cabins, but we'll look around when we get here and we'll get back to it in a bit. Okay, so I don't really see any places to camp, but there is places for you to picnic over here. This is the parking. You do have to pay $5 and we found out that it's um, that you put your money in an envelope and we didn't have the exact amount. So they do have an option now that you can pay um, just online. So that's what we did. So we're at the parking lot. Hey, there's the hubby. Um, here's just a quick map of the trail and we're going to head to the bridge and then just go over that. We'll take you along the trip a little bit. Uh, once we get a little bit closer, but we're just going to head down this way and figure things out. Well, so far, we've just hiked a little bit, but so far the, the walk has been nice. The path is this limestone gravel um, trail, so it's, it's easy to walk on. And this is one of the first stops. Got a, a cannon here. And then a lizard, wildlife. Some wildlife. I don't know if you can see that little guy, but that little lizard's having himself a time. It looks like he's dancing there. Let's see if they can get in close. The bridge is up ahead. It looks like they're working on it a bit. I'm hoping that they'll let us easily get by, and after we pass them, we'll take you back on the journey. So the bridge itself is we've started walking a little bit. I am afraid of heights, and I'm doing fine so far. The trail itself seems very very safe. We are in the treetops here. You can't take your horses on the bridge, but you can bike on the bridge. Tammy is not one for liking heights, so I'm going to go towards the edge. Hopefully I don't drop her phone. Has a great view. Not too many people here. We ran into about maybe four or five. It's gorgeous, but it's a long ways down. Three of these places where you can just sit and take in the beauty along the trail or at least along the bridge itself that's my husband over there at the end of one of these little stops I'll take you out to the back to the bridge itself the bridge is 2400 feet in length which is the longest recreational bridge in Virginia it's 125 feet above the Appomattox River and it goes on and on. It's almost a half a mile. It goes on forever, at least it feels like it does, but it is beautiful. So 
we're on the other side of the bridge and the trail continues for um, it's 31 miles altogether I'm not sure how much farther it goes on this side but probably 20 miles or so on this side and there are a lot of bikers out now we haven't seen any horses or horseback riding but the number of people we've passed has increased yeah there's people of all ages there's young little kids and there's older people retired people families uh, wildlife we've seen squirrels lizards but no bear which we were hoping to get a far off view of a bear none so far we'll keep you up to date all right so we've walked over a mile and I will say that there's lots of places to sit down and take a break along the way they have these benches however they don't have any places to purchase water along the or food for that matter along the trail there is a couple of bathroom stops uh, one at that parking place where we started out at Camp Paradise and there's one they said about a mile and a half after the bridge so if you decide that maybe you want to give this a try I'd suggest make sure you bring your water and if you want to bring a snack or something you have to bring it in. All right so we made it to one of the bathrooms it's about a mile and a half after the bridge. It's kind of a modified porta potty and uh, honestly does have hand sanitizer in there but I might suggest bring some toilet paper with you. So we found this little spot that's got some picnic tables, benches. We're just sitting in the shade for a bit before we head back. Uh, quick tip, I brought a wet washcloth just in a Ziploc bag because uh, here in Virginia, it gets pretty hot and humid. It's about 85 today. And we do have some cloud cover. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, but uh, we've been in the sun a lot walking and it's gotten pretty hot. Doug, what do you think so far? Hey, it's pretty nice here. Lots of people, a lot of good walking. It's real quiet though, it's real peaceful. Lots of things to look at. The bridge is the best part, but if you want to come out and get some exercise, this would be a great place to do it. All right, we'll head back. We'll get you close to the bridge again, and we're going to go down by the river and see what's on the other side of the bridge. I think there's probably six or seven more miles on this side of the bridge. I think I was wrong earlier. It looks like it goes to the town of Farmville. I think the longer distance is on the other side of the bridge. So we are almost back to the bridge, and we've walked in total a couple miles little over probably, but I don't have my tracker up. And uh, this is where we came from, way, way back there. I don't know if you can see those yellow posts. There's a house, a private house there. We walked a long ways past that to a, another stop. And uh, once we get to the bridge, I'll probably time lapse some more. And her eyes Flashed with images of fractured garments. We finally saw some wildlife. A couple of deers down there in the trees eating lunch. This is an old train trussle, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but you see those huge pillars? Those are made by with bricks. Quite a bit of manpower went into that. So I can't lean out very far, but there's a glimpse of the Appomattox River, which is what part of this bridge goes over. It certainly goes over a lot of land in the gully where I guess the train would have gone over. This is the first of three of those stops we took you through earlier. There are three, one here at the beginning of the bridge. There's one about halfway, and then there's one on the right side on the end. So here's a little bit of information we found about the bridge. In 1854, the South Side Railroad was completed from Petersburg to Lynchburg. To cross the Appomattox River east of Farmville, High Bridge was constructed. The bridge, 2,400 feet in length and ranging from 60 to 125 feet in height, was built on 21 brick piers. The original wood bridge had a pedestrian walkway beside the tracks and a wagon bridge below. Uh, we are headed out. There are picnic areas. Looks like they're trying to put in perhaps a, some slides and things for the kids, but it's right at this point. They just look like one slide. And I just wanted to say 
I do have some underlying health conditions. I did have my mask, but because we were pretty much socially distanced being outside, I didn't wear it during the day. Um, it is, at this point, um, pretty hot and humid, and I think I would have had trouble breathing, but we really passed many, many more bis bicyclists than we did folks walking, and we really didn't come in close contact with any. Hey, we had a great time today. We thank you for joining us. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope we were able to share a little bit about it. And Tam, you have something you want to say? Uh, we look forward to coming back, I think, in the fall. I think it would be beautiful when the trees turn colors, especially. I'm sure we'll probably be back before then. We definitely would do the walk again, but I think it would be gorgeous when all the trees are turned. If you enjoyed being with us today, if you didn't, wouldn't mind, just hit that subscribe button and join us again. And uh, we hope you have a great day. Take care. Thanks.